Now, if you're like me, you really dig vSphere ESX host profiles, but if you're also like me, you wish that they could apply configuration policy against a lot more configuration items. It could apply not to ESX host only, but also to VMs themselves, that it would have out-of-the-box templates for security compliance, VMware, and guest uh, level application best practices, could give you some change control visibility beyond the basic reporting, but still had all of that fantastic vCenter integration. Well, introducing EMC Server Configuration Manager. Part of the very broad EMC Ionics management portfolio, EMC Ionics Server Configuration Manager, or SCM, is a tool that's designed to make change control, configuration compliance, and remediation simpler and easier. It can do this across virtual infrastructure 3.5 and vSphere 4 environments. For example, here you can see all of the hosts that are ESX hosts in the environment and detailed configuration information. But above and beyond this summary information, it can also gather detailed information around storage, how the data stores are used, the devices that are being used, utilization, those sorts of things, the networking configuration, resource pools, security profiles, and every advanced setting. All of these attributes can be gathered for reports, checking against compliance policies, and change and remediation. You can also get views that show you uh, uh, a visual representation of those same relationships, ranging from ESX hosts to the VMs on those hosts and all of the resource pools. Now, the EMC Ionics portfolio can actually go two or three levels deeper into the actual physical server configuration, the application dependencies between the VMs, and the underlying relationships of all the physical infrastructure across the server, network, and storage domains. But above and beyond that, you can also get some very good, simple summary reports. So for example, this is the host level report. It shows you what type of host you have got across your entire potentially multiple virtual center or vCenter environment, um, and get some detailed uh, uh, change management reports as well. If we go back and we change the start date to an earlier start date interval, we'll be able to see all of the changes across the virtual environment in that time span. If we take a look at this report, you'll see that the report is broken down by ESX hosts, the virtual machine configurations, and the actual guest configurations themselves. You can click on any one of these charts, they're interactive, and they'll take you to the detailed reports. You can also get a similar summary report, but focused on the guests. So in this case, you find out which type of guest you have, whether they're actually actively in use, yes or no, and their detailed guest configuration information, what's their operating system, of course, just like everywhere else, every single one of these items is interactive and you can click on it for further detail. Now, of course, all this sort of information is the most useful if it's presented in the context that makes it the most useful. In the VMware environment, the context is vCenter. So, of course, this tool has got a vCenter plugin. Now, if you click on a single VM, you can see the server configuration tab has both a summary and an actions tab. The Summary tab summarizes all of the configuration, change, and compliance checks against both the VM or the ESX host, and Actions give you some tools to be able to remediate change. Now, if we go and we take a look at this individual VM, we can see all sorts of detailed information that's been gathered via this Deep API integration, how that VM has been patched, all of the change log summary uh, uh, for the window that can be specified, and one thing that is very, very popular with Server Configuration Manager is it comes out of the box with a deep set of compliance templates. Now, these out-of-the-box configuration and compliance uh, templates include things like uh, general policy, like Sarbanes-Oxley, security things like being able to be secure and, and patched and updated to protect against worms and viruses, password items, general security policies, but even basic things like general OS updates, patching, and application best practices, as well as VMware practices. Thanks very much, and I hope you found this interesting. This is EMC Ionics Server Configuration Manager.